restaurant lounges and spa centers this is what i am looking at it when i am coming out from my hotel and i guess uh, that is the reason why i am here hey guys so welcome back to the vietnam series this is vlog number 2 i am shashank sharma and uh, right now is 3:30 pm uh, it's really not a good time to come out uh, for the city like uh, da nang the first thing is that i need to exchange some money and then i'll start uh, exploring the city uh i'll start it from the uh, skyline of danang which is just 1 minute walk from here i can see the beach uh, from my room uh, but uh, from here you can't see we need to walk for almost a minute and then uh, we'll start exploring the city this is going to be the exploration of uh, danang where uh, i'm going to stay here for one and a half day and uh, then i'll decide whether i need to stay in the city or should i leave to ho chi minh so i'm going towards the sea right now to explore the seaside area and then uh, i'll eat something for the breakfast uh, the breakfast was included in the hotel uh, even the receptionist also called me up and she said uh, they have prepared the breakfast uh, specifically for me the vegetarian one but i denied uh, because uh, it was a overnight journey or it was a overnight flight and uh, i really wanted to sleep for a few hours so here i am in danang so it's not raining now uh, it was uh, raining in the morning weather is quite pleasant right now <laughs> here i reached to the sea and uh, people are selling durian like this the uh, fun fact is that uh, durian is uh, banned in almost uh, all the places uh, like uh, ships planes it's something that uh, if you are carrying the durian in the metro or in a ferry then the smell of the durian is not going be out so it's banned in almost uh, all the other places i'm just looking at the sea right now and it's looking very very beautiful skyline of the nang is uh, absolutely gorgeous you can see the entire skyline from here this look very very beautiful this restaurant is looking very good lang cha maybe Yeah, hi. Uh, do you have uh, vegetarian food? Do you have vegetarian food? So this is just a seafood restaurant. So I need to try some other restaurant for vegetarian food. <laughs> This Rice Mount Hotel is looking absolutely beautiful. Uh, I guess this is a boutique hotel. Look at their windows. and it's looking absolutely gorgeous and this is the quite famous bridge here So this much I am exchanging it here in the jewelry shop. One million. One million. 
one and then it's going to be uh, 1.1 1 .1 million 65,000 right okay so I exchanged the money at this uh, jewelry center uh, this uh, jewelry guy is uh, always uh, happy to exchange the money and at the best price this is what I just heard <laughs> from the some local people so I'm not sure about the prices but uh, it was so confusing to just to even to calculate uh, 1.1 million and then some 65,000 rupees oh sorry 65,000 dong so in total I got uh, for $50 uh, 1.1 million and 1.1 million and 65,000 yeah <laughs> so confusing so please do your math uh, before coming to any exchange uh, you know currency exchange counters because uh, sometimes you may lose some money <laughs> So I just calculated uh, the exchange rate. It was uh, 277 rupees uh, long, uh, 277.5 down. I think that's a fair price. So now I'm just uh, going ahead towards the sea to have some food and to do something else. VHL and uh, this is going to be 149. Uh, okay, for 4G per day. Yes. Okay. Okay. 149,000 Vietnamese dong. Okay. All right. Hey, so the SIM card was a very good deal. 150,000 uh, Vietnamese dong, and uh, I got it for this VTL. This is 4G per day. There was also some cheaper option, but he was saying that uh, at some places it's not going to work so it's better that you will take uh, this uh, 150,000 one uh, the cheaper one was coming at uh, 120,000 and uh, I still haven't got my food <laughs> see I, I just came back to the same place the seafood restaurant <laughs> now I'm going to take a walk on this beach side over there I have seen uh, some uh, restaurants over there Oil vegetables or with vegetable for shrimp paste. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Super vegetable with garlic. This is bomb with garlic. Rita and uh, Drinks, uh, uh, no, I want orange juice. Do you have orange juice? Okay, give me orange juice and give me this uh, herbal pizza. Uh, first, I thought uh, it's a very expensive pizza, it's around 500 rupees, but uh, it's a large one and it has. Uh, mushrooms, olives and uh, cheese as well hey the pizza was very good and uh, the orange juice as well uh, the in total I paid uh, somewhere around 650 uh, that was I, I really thought that it's a very expensive one uh, but it was a large pizza that was enough for two or three people I had the whole pizza I was <laughs> really very very hungry uh, the only thing which is not in my favor is the weather it's too windy and uh, I'm feeling a little cold in the half t-shirt and everyone is wearing some sort of a cheater but in the daytime it was all pleasant but in the night it's uh, I'm feeling a little cold so now it's seven o'clock and uh, I'm just taking a walk on this uh, skyline on the beach side uh, and uh, all the hotels are Littering. <laughs> so the name of this beach is Mayan Beach. I just <laughs> write the name. I wasn't uh, aware that uh, what's the name. And uh, all the uh, cafes, all the uh, hotels are uh, now quite active. It wasn't that active uh, in the daytime at around uh, 4 o'clock. But now everything is up 
and running. Now I'm going to take uh, another uh, long walk from here to let's see where. <laughs> I have tried uh, Red Bull so many times, so let me try this Energizer or something. Yeah, it's Energizer. This is really good. It's for. Uh, 14,000 dong, approximately 50 rupees. This is an experiment. I asked her uh, whether it has uh, the egg or not, and she said no, it, it doesn't have the egg. So, trying it. Super silky and it has uh, cream. It's really good. It was for uh, twenty-seven thousand pounds. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you. This iced tea is guava, chili, guava, iced tea. It's so refreshing, it's so refreshing. Just one sip, it tastes like heaven. And uh, on top of it, she has put uh, some fresh guava as well. I really like it. It's uh, for 25,000. So I was taking the long walks on this uh, Mayan beach road. If I'll share my overall experience then uh, it's not what I was expecting in the morning. The prices of all these pass centers are quite expensive. Uh, even the food is uh, quite expensive here. Uh, <clears throat> if I'll give you an example like uh, foot massage generally costs uh, 300 to 400 rupees in uh, uh, Thailand but uh, here it it is costing us uh, 300000 dong so which is uh, equivalent to uh, almost 1200 rupees for 1 hour because on internet and all other places showcasing it that uh, it's so cheap it's so cheap but it's, but it, in da nang nothing is cheap okay even the food is quite expensive here in uh, da nang i am not sure about other cities but uh, here it cost you around uh, 1000 rupees for a single meal uh, just for a pizza and uh, orange juice uh, it cost me around 600 700 rupees uh, and that too uh, on a food truck uh, even if i'm eating it in any restaurant it's still costing me a lot so i don't think so that uh, da nang is a cheap destination or a place where you can stay here for a longer period of time but yes uh hotels are quite affordable uh this is my hotel uh i told you it's just for uh, eight dollars a night and if i'll uh, uh, see other hotels as well it's no it was not just for this particular hotel uh, even on this uh, uh, mayan uh, beach road uh, all the hotels who are, who are not offering you the sea facing uh, are giving you the rooms at around uh, $8, $10, uh, maximum it's $15. So yes, the accommodation is quite cheap in Da Nang, but food and transportation and uh, the other activities are not cheap at all. Streets are empty at uh, 11 o'clock. I'm the only one who is still walking. <laughs> now even I'm also going back uh, to my hotel. It's just right here. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, good morning, guys. So this is the breakfast which I am having it uh, here in the hotel. So they have ordered this uh, from somewhere else because uh, I asked for only for the vegetarian thing. So they have uh, made it uh, with tofu and uh, serve it to me. This bowl is uh, full of flavors. Uh, it, it has garlic. It has ginger, tofu. Uh, peanuts, mushroom, veggies, and noodles. Like, wow! This is really wow. <laughs> so, I just came out from the hotel just to grab some uh, more snack. Uh, breakfast was really good. Uh, it was the first meal uh, of uh, Vietnamese food as well. So, um, I really like it. And, uh, I think I have explored the entire city. Uh, I've seen the entire beach road, Mayan beach road and uh, the entire skyline as well, the city as well. Now I'm heading towards the next city. Uh, I am not sure about the next city, which one I'm going to pick next. Uh, because uh, I need to go to Ho Chi Minh first uh, for the new year. And uh, for that I need to take a flight, which I'm not sure how to take it because uh, from Da Nang it's coming very costly it's uh, coming at around uh, 8000 wherein uh, there is another uh, nearby airport which is uh, Hue and Wen something and uh, from there it's coming at around 2200 rupees uh, so I'm planning to travel to the another city and uh, because I have the, uh, the whole day I have nothing to do here now so after 10-15 minutes, I will leave the city. So that's it. That's it for the Nang, and uh, I'll uh, meet you in the next one, in the next vlog, uh, which is going to be about uh, how to reach uh, from the Nang to Ho Chi Minh City. All right, guys. Uh, so yeah, stay connected.